Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I will explain you how to create a map in your Zapix. First you have to uh, check monitoring and then click on maps. And as you can see, we already have one map and that is just Zapix server standard map. Just one host and if you click edit map and left click you can see that is just one host and a host icon represents a host that you monitor with Zapix. Its level can directly show problems affecting that host and you can also choose a map but I will show you that now while we are going to create a new map and okay update in the upper right corner you have to click on create map here you have to put name test map here dimension so background image I don't have now one background image I have to upload first automatic key okay. icon highlight I will also check mark elements and trigger subs change and now just click on add here you have option you can share your Zapix map with users or or administrators, guests, and so on. So now click on add. And we have just created our new test map. But it's empty. And now click on edit map. Okay. And you see a map with a grid that shows squares of 50, uh, 50 pixels. And uh, if you place it equals here, they would snap to the next grid location. Also, there are plus and minus on the top to add or remove icons and links. And icons can be one of hosts, maps, trigger, host group, image. I will show you it right now. First, add one map element, and as you can see, host, map, trigger, host group, each. And I have already explained what what is host, and now what is map? A map uh, icon is a link pointing to another map. You could create an overview map and. If the user click it on such a map icon, it would load another map with a more detailed view and so on. And trigger, this is an icon that can have a different appearance depending on the status of the trigger, disable, maintenance, problem or normal operation. And now host group. And logically, host group is one group of our hosts, and it is useful if your map uh, is a bird's eye view, and you just want to know if there are any problem in your group of hosts. Uh, for example, if you, if you have uh, one group uh, Windows host and Linux host, and this way you don't have to add all the single hosts to the map. And now, image, uh, image is just a static image, and you can give it a costume level. You can add future image using configuration, general image, and then create image. But first, I will choose host. In label, you can type just plain text and you can also use uh, macros. I 
Okay, type host name, label location default and host. You have to choose host and template operating system. Okay, I will monitor my desktop. Application, you can also choose or you can leave it blank. Here you can change icon. If I click about your rec model and so that this workstation apply that. That's just a workstation. Now close. And if I click on update, OK, and now click on map, you can see OK. But if I have a problem, and I will now make some problem, configuration, hosts, triggers, Okay, for example, I can, I can enable one trigger with problem. And now you can see that we have problem. I'm disabled. Refresh. Everything works. So, if you have a problem, you will be notified in your topics map. Now edit to add some more elements and, and now map and I can choose that map from topic server local network that is default map apply close update now click to check. Uh, that is test map. Everything works fine. And that here is just a local network map. Okay. You can change the name, of course. Now add another another map element and I will choose trigger. Here you have to find and select trigger you want. And first you have to select host. And I will check desktop, okay? And the same trigger earlier. Check box and click on select. You can also change default icon but you have but first you have to click on add and now apply update my trigger works fine and now I will change the name just bit trigger okay and host group 
now I'll check the host group and that is templates operating system for this example server 128 apply close Now update. Everything works fine. And that is my host group operating systems, my trigger, my map, my workstation or host. And image. If you want, you can add an image and apply and here icon and you can change for some another image. And it's just an image, nothing there. You can also connect so I host other or map and host trigger and host first click on one host then you have to press control and select another host then link add and we have link between two host and here on edit you can add some triggers if you want change color and so on and if you want to on link also select both holes and link remove now update And that is our map. Of course, that's just one example. And you can also change your dashboard. And it is standard. Suffix the dashboard. Here on all dashboards, you can choose some another. Here is and select server help and if you want to add some new dashboard you have to create it first then click on create dashboard test dash apply and now you can check or choose for example map navigation tree and put name test map tree add okay now add widget and here you can check map name test map dash and you can choose default map or you can choose map navigation tree and then when you select some map from your uh, navigation tree you will see that map here in new window here I can choose my test map tree and add okay here is root plus I can type first map 
test loop and add. And second map. Local network. Here edit. Okay, test map. And here check local network. Okay. Now save change. And as you can see, here we have our navigation tree, and here is our map window. Here is default map, here is first map. And that's that for this tutorial. For this tutorial, and in the next few tutorial, I will explain. A little more about the maps and thank you for your watching.